Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan back with another video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram for more watch related content. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new micro brand from India. It's called Iridium and uh, people who are backing Iridium are friends of mine and I'm very very happy for them because I'm always happy for new micro brands coming up and especially if they're from India. I always like to support uh, small businesses and uh, new micro brands coming up all over all the time. So let's talk about this new um, watch prototype that they've sent me sent to me for for my views and opinion uh, this is called the torpedo 300 because it is rated to 300 meters water resistance uh, let me quickly walk you through the specifications it's 42 millimeters across without the crown it is 50, 51 millimeters uh, lug to lug 22 millimeters uh, lug width and 13.8 meet millimeters thickness um, the, the, the case design is actually pretty slim because there is a, if you can see, there is a top hat style dome sapphire crystal there and uh, that crystal alone is, is 3.8 millimeters. so therefore the rest of the watch is pretty slim in construction. Uh, nice uh, uh, vintage design cues uh, that are prevalent here with a modern twist. I like the brushing all over. It's very, very clean, very smooth. There are nice chamfered polished edges. The same kind of um, dual finishing uh, extends onto the fitted bracelet. The bracelet has solid end links. Um, the, uh, as you can see, this is a modern take on the Jubilee bracelet, uh, alternating brushed and polished um, finishing on it. The clasp is a standard diver's clasp with a solid click and a very nice comfortable closure. The clasp has the Iridium logo as well as Iridium text engraved. Uh, it has a, the clasp has a built-in uh, diver's extension as well. So that's a good addition, that's a good inclusion there. Right, as you can see, uh, it's very nicely made. It's a very solid chunk of uh, metal yet, uh, you know, it's, it's clean enough. It's not, it's not a congested design, it's not an overpowering design. It's a, it's a well-balanced design all over. Let me talk to you about what all changes they're going to make. So as you can see, the domed crystal is, it creates a nice distortion right at the end of the, of the viewing area there. So the minute hand is 15 millimeters long and as you can, as you can see, the tip is a little distorted there. It's, uh, it's not completely visible. So they have agreed to reduce the length of the minute hand to 14, milli 14 millimeters so that the uh, tip of the minute hand is visible as well as the inner minute gradation is visible for proper time setting and alignment. The bezel is a stainless steel bezel. The, uh, uh, the, the grooving on the edge is going to extend all the way, all the way down. The markers are fully loomed with the Superluminova BGW9 and the, in the final production run these markers are going to be deeper engraved filled with more luminous material because uh, even though it's a lot the, I think the, the owners of um, Iridium wanted a lot more lum luminous glow. Uh, apart from that the bezel is unidirectional 120 click. The click is very 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 nice there. If you, you can hear it, you can feel it, the feedback is very solid. I like this kind of uh, a solid turn of the bezel. The um, Let's talk about the crown now. So this is a screw down crown. It has the engraved logo as well as uh, the logo is filled with BGW9 Superluminova. So that logo is going to glow. Um, these screws that you see are fake. I mean fake in the sense they are false. It, it's not a screwed uh, bracelet end link. It's a standard spring bar end link there. So these uh, screws are going to be removed. Uh, the bracelet has a pin and collar system in the prototype for sizing. This is going to be changed as well to nice uh, easily adjustable screws. Let me talk to you about the dial features. So the dial is, um, there are five dial colors. Uh, this is the deep black. There is a wine red, which is still under production and prototyping. Then I've also had the pleasure of handling the blue. That's the uh, glacier blue, the summer yellow, as well as the thunder gray. Right. So uh, for the dial, uh, for the black dial, as for the, and for the wine red dial, the our, uh, the minute and our hands, as well as the dial markers, they're going to be uh, framed in stainless steel silver and filled with BGW9 Super Luminova. The R in seconds hand is a standard constant feature across all the dial models. Right, so this is about it. Let me show you another dial color that I have with me currently. And this is the Thunder Gray. Look at that. That gray is so, so nice. You know, it's, it's beautiful. Let me align the bezel again. The, even on this, the bezel clicking, the setting is very, very solid. I like it. You know, it's not flimsy. It's not loose. 
Um, and, and you know, the, one of the features that really appeals to me in this watch is the dome crystal, creating all those uh, distortions and light uh, light manipulations. I really like it. Apart from uh, this, there are very few changes on the dial, except that they'll add a uh, matching date window frame. So on the gray, blue, and yellow dials, the markers as well as the hands are finished with is in an oxidized black for higher contrast and better visibility. Um, let's look at the case back on this because of the bracelet is not interfering. It mentions it's made of 316L surgical grade stainless steel, solid construction there. 30 ATM, that means 300 meter water resistance, you can safely die with it. Uh, iridium, torpedo, sapphire, that's... So the case back is a display case back with sapphire crystal here, as well as sapphire crystal on top. The uh, All the 500 pieces limited run that they're doing, that they're going to make, are going to be numbered. They are going to remove some of this text because they are going to mention assemble in Switzerland and that is true, that is absolutely true because these watches may be manufactured in, in China but they will be shipped off to Switzerland where the final assembly as well as quality checking will be done and then they will be shipped from Switzerland to the respective owners. So that is a major plus in my books because you know they, they, this shows that Iridium and Audric as a brand, that's their uh, upscale brand, uh, secondary brand that they're going to launch. So these brands are going to stay. They are there for the long run. They're not going to be one-hit wonders. They are going to be making more watches, bringing really good quality content to the, uh, uh, to the consumers. And last but not least, as you can see, the plates uh, inside are Geneva striped. There is a custom gold-plated rotor which will be included uh, as a standard feature in all these Torpedo 300 watches. Next, let us talk about size comparisons. For size comparison, I have a, a standard, uh, nice, popular diver with me. That's the SKX007. As you can see, let me uh, take that away because it's distracting us. Right, as you can see, both are 42 millimeters. Just that the lug to lug on the SKX is very, very short and therefore it wears smaller. But again, I mean, these, these, this design is taken from, from Winters Designs and, and they've done a really, really good job of it. I will, why I mention Winters Design or why I, why I mention Classical Design is because I'll, uh, for my next comparison, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, for the, my next comparison, we have the Tudor Pelagos. This is an all titanium Swiss diver tool watch extremely sturdy and look at that i mean size comparison wise they're very much similar even the design cues with the alternate brushed and polished edges um, you know so this makes for a good build a good quality design and that's what i really really like about this watch about the iridium torpedo that is uh, because the pelagos is a fan favorite of is a big favorite of mine anyway uh, for my last comparison, I'm going to show you another watch. That's the Burn Milford Diver. This is also an upcoming brand from Amin Tarani for, of Burn Watch Company. This, uh, for this, I'm going to do a separate video, an in-depth detailed video very soon. But as you can see, for size comparison, they're both um, uh, 42 millimeters across. And the lug to lug seems to be about the same as well. So yeah, it wears very nice. Now let me show you how this watch wears. you can see I have a nice and solid click there I have a 7.5 inch wrist for reference and the watch wears beautifully I mean it's even with 51 millimeter lug to lug it sits so comfortably it's the height is nice it doesn't dig into my wrist anywhere and you know it's a very very comfortable wear that I'm uh, a comfortable feeling that I have with this watch like it's part of my own skin so yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the final uh, production run and final uh, product that they bring to the market. So like I said, five colors of the dial variants and you know, these are launching uh, on the 30th of June for pre-order. Starting price will be 450 plus shipping and uh, you know, get them fast because I'm very, very sure that they'll sell out very quickly. Um, what else can I say? Stay tuned for more updates on Iridium brand. Check out my Instagram for more news. Thank you for watching. Take care.